the Joe Rogan experience. When you were growing up, who, what was the, the fighter that influenced you the most? Well, hands down, Floyd Mayweather and Roy Jones Jr. You know, I used to love watching Roy Jones Jr. I'm pretty sure everybody, everybody was, did. was a fan of Roy. But set aside Roy, I always watched the Floyd Mayweather and Pernell Whitaker. Yeah. Uh, I was too young for Sugar Ray Leonard and them, so... I'm old enough for that. I, I was there for the Sugar Ray Leonard days. I was there for Sugar Ray Tommy Hearns, the the, the, Sh- the Sugar Ray Duran. I, I was there for all that stuff. But I I, I watched everything. Uh, when I was when I was young, my coach Midge Minor, he used to always take me to his house and watch boxing tapes. That was to keep me off off the streets and keep me out of trouble until I went to the gym. Is he still around? Nah, he passed. Damn, he'd probably be like, look at that. Yeah. Boy, did that work out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we talk about an investment in time that, right. that worked out tremendously. Yeah, the, the, it's always uh, in our culture there's a special place for the highest level of boxers. There's like a special place of uh, admiration. And I just feel like with guys like Lomachenko, with guys like you, with Canelo and Triple G, this is a great time for boxing. It's fun to watch, man. There's so many elite, Earl Spence Jr. There's so many elite boxers right now. It's like a really exciting time. For sure, for sure. Do you recognize your place in history? Do you recognize that like you're, you're a special dude? Of course, of course. Like I always tell people when they uh, mention me and Errol Spence, you know, of course I want to fight. I tell everybody that. I always say, with or without him, I'm going to the Hall of Fame. When you look at all the things that I've accomplished in the sport of boxing, people that's in the Hall of Fame didn't even accomplish that. You know, so I was, I just tell people I don't need him. He really need me. Well, we need it. <laughs> boxing, right? Don't you agree? Yeah. yeah, boxing do need that fight. Boxing needs it. I mean, it's one of the be- beautiful things about when a Canelo and a Triple G do get together. As you see these guys in their respective weight classes that are in their prime, it's fun. You know, like that's what everybody wants to see. That's, that's the what fight, it's all right? About. That's what it's all about. You just stop a whole lot of barber barbershop conversations. Yes. <laughs> you need to stop a whole lot of comedy club conversations, barbershop, <laughs> garage, everywhere. Yeah, that's the that's the fight to make in your weight class right now, right? For sure. What's hold what's the hold up? You gotta ask them. Oh, it's them. <laughs> we, well, everybody has to hold out a little bit, right, to get the best deal. Yeah, that's right? cool. That's yeah. cool. You know, uh, it's it's all about business, but at the same time, uh my side of of the deal is ready whenever. And you can see all the interviews out there, man. You can see where if it's Terrence or myself or Bob or anybody that's affiliated with Team Crawford, we all say we want to fight. You know, yeah. we can have a fight tomorrow, you know, if we wanted to. So, but we know the realistic it won't happen. But so when would, would you think that he's waiting for the right time marketing wise, or do you think he's ready for the right time where his skills he feels like are able to challenge you? Like, what do you think is the actual holdup? I think it has something to do with top rank and PPC. Oh, okay. So it's a promoter issue. Right. So it's a financial scramble. I won't say financial because the money will be there if the fight was ever made. I just think it's, you know. Eagles. Yeah. I think Egos. It's, yeah, I think it'd yeah. be probably some eagles. So do you think hopefully this is just something that's going to take a little while, but it will eventually come to play? Of course. I think uh, it'll happen, you know, but I think, you know, me being with top rank is standing in the way of a lot of things happening. Mm, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's like it's interesting that promoters or boxing promoters work together well at all. Right. You know, like you th- think about it, like if the UFC had to work with Bellator – and put together some world championship fight. Every basically, there's so many times you got champion versus champion. They have two different promoters, and they have to decide to get together and, and make this happen. Mm-hmm. Who wants? Who want to get the more most of the pot? That's probably what it is. Yes. Or, or what network right. is going to be on? Yeah. If it's going to be right. on Fox or ESPN, and who's going to promote it? And it's also like when someone like Floyd Mayweather has done what he's done and sold the kind of pay per views that he's sold, and then you know, and achieved this sort of level of financial fame as well as like people he's famous not just for being the best boxer but famous for being insanely rich like that's part of the fame because he promoted yes because he promoted because <laughs> he figured it out and a lot of other people are going to probably try to do the same thing as well right that's just not my style <laughs>